Nice to see you, Mark. Yes. Um, down to Pedal Power. Yeah, it's been really nice travelling down yeah. this morning. Yeah. Um, and seeing yeah. you know, the, I suppose, the entrance into Pedal Power. Yeah. Um, which is, is obviously based, you know, in the centre of Cardiff. Yeah. Which is, which is great, know. you know, for accessibility. So yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. It's really good. So how would you describe your life before your accident? Um, very sporting. You know, I, yeah. I, I did, you know, I did a lot of sport when I was very young. Um, you know, competed in triathlons for yeah. a number of years. Yeah. Um, so very, very active. Even though I worked yeah. full time. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. I certainly found the time to. You know, use my time on the weekends to yeah. to enjoy my sport in life. You know, Would as you much say, as I can. Yeah. You know? Would you say you, is sports for your hobbies really? Yes, very yeah. much. You know, it's obviously working full time Monday to Friday. Yeah. Um, you know, I just felt that the weekends then was a yeah. good way of yeah. of just release, re relieving all that stress. Yeah. You know, from the Monday yeah. to Friday stuff. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, really enjoyed my sport on yeah. the weekends, which is yeah. good. Yeah. So tell us about your accident. The dreaded accident, yes. Yeah. Um, well, I was a, a keen rock climber um, for, a, for a while, and then a friend yeah. of mine um, managed to talk me into to becoming a paragliding pilot. Right. Um, so I was paragliding for some time, yeah. and we went down to Rossilli, down in the yeah. Gower Peninsula. Yeah. And we were flying uh, down in, in Rossilli all day. And around sort of 5 p.m., we decided to go back up and, and obviously have the last sort of hour yeah. of flying. Yeah. And unfortunately, while flying across the, the top of Rossilli, uh, my canopy actually collapsed. Right. So obviously, there's only one way you're going to oh. go. So unfortunately, I fell from about sort of 35, 40 feet. Yeah. And then with the impact of landing, yeah. um, unfortunately, broke my back. Yeah. So it was a very, a very difficult time for me and my family, as you yeah. can appreciate. Yeah. And spent uh, just over five months in hospital. Yeah. You know, after I had the spinal operation. Yeah. And it was a tough time. Yeah. You know, really difficult. Thankfully, yeah. you know, I survived. Um, and, yeah. and obviously, I'm here to tell the tale, yeah. as they say. And when you were in hospital, did you ever imagine that you could be doing what you're doing now, cycling world championships? Et Definitely not. Definitely not. I think. Having been a sportsman, you know, for most of my life, yeah. and having that drive and determination to succeed, just to get me through my accident, yeah. then found, you know, after my my time in hospital, that I could still ride a bike, yeah. you know, albeit very slowly at the time. Yeah. That even though I couldn't walk properly, you know, yeah. with, with yeah. obviously crutches, yeah. um, but but could ride a bike comfortably. Yeah. So then found <clears throat> through FDSW, you know, yeah. the Disabled um, you know, Academy, yeah. that Disability Sport Wales gave me the opportunity then, yeah. you know, to actually try my hand at paracycling, yeah. you know, or cycling for disabled people. Yeah. Um, and even having that dream then, you know, of, of trying to achieve almost the impossible, yeah. you know, to come through, yeah. you know, this accident. Yeah. Um, and to move forward then to maybe even one day you know cycling for my country yeah. so so it was a, a big dream that yeah. i had if, if i'm honest how soon did you realize that you could be onto something enormous like that probably within a year right. uh, after coming out of hospital yeah. um, and then you know finding that you know i had this um, capability you know yeah. to keep improving and, and to get faster and, and stronger, yeah. you know, on the yeah. bike, yeah. and, it, and it, it is just a case of repeating the process, yeah. you know, just over and over, yeah. and then the gains then naturally start yeah. to appear. So, yeah. so yeah, uh, probably a good twelve months before yeah. I sort of started to feel that you know it, it could yeah. be something good coming out yeah. of this. You know, so you're part of the GB Parasite. Paracycling exactly. team. team. That's right. Tell us about your training schedule. Um, <laughs> very tough, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. You know, we train there or thereabouts, 25, 26 hours per week. Wow. So it's it's pretty full on. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you know, it's it's something that for me became an addiction. Yeah. You know, if I'm honest. Yeah. To to yeah. have this opportunity to train full time. Yeah. You know, in you know, obviously within the team. Yeah. So. So I, I guess I'm just very lucky to have that facility, you know, yeah. given to me. So yeah. yeah. And um, you're now our patron, patron of Pedal Power. Yes. What, what does that mean to you? It, it means quite a lot because I, I worked for a charity some years ago, and you know, have this passion, you know, for giving something back to people. Yeah. You know, that that costs me nothing, you know, other than maybe my time. Yeah. So, so what I find certainly with Pedal Power, you know, it gives anybody the opportunity 
you know, to, to get onto a bike, whether it's a single seat or a double seat, because it's obviously a low impact, yeah. you know, exercise. Yeah. Anyone, you yeah. know, anyone at all can actually have the, the opportunity to have some exercise in their life, yeah. which, is, which is vital, yeah. you know, as, as people, because the human body is made to move, yeah. you know, so why shouldn't it move, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and enjoy, um, you know, certainly enjoy cycling and certainly being, you know, obviously in the centre of Cardiff with lots of cycle facilities, you know, the cycle lanes and the trails that yeah. we have, yeah. people should take advantage of it, yeah. you know. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what's your hope now from the, for the uh, Olympics? Well, I think the, the Paralympics for me, you know, we obviously it's just around the corner, you know, the, towards the end of 2012. Yeah. And having come from the Road World Championships, you know, in September 2011, and then through to the, the track championships in Los Angeles and actually yeah. winning gold, yeah. you know, my dr almost half of my dream has been, yeah. you yeah. know, has been reality yeah. now. Yeah. So for me as a world champion moving forward, then the Games, you know, the Paralympic Games in London, is going to be a fantastic spectacle. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're only halfway there yet. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be it's exciting times. Exciting, you know, yeah. it really yeah. is.